I'm not usually the type to be dealing with trade rumors because, you know, they're rumors. But the rumors sure have been swirling over the past several days about a cornerback for the Los Angeles Rams, Jalen Ramsey. Now, I believe it started after Bobby Wagner, the middle linebacker, all pro linebacker Bobby Wagner ended up getting released by the Los Angeles Rams due to cap. It was a, it was a cap casualty. Uh, I believe they were sitting like over 14 million in over, over the cap for $14 million over the cap. Now we know the Rams they're famous for going all in Super Bowl or bust type of team. They're the one that, uh, and well, I would say they they invented to quote "fuck them picks," but due to a very very disappointing 2022 season, uh, due to a lot of injuries, um, primarily at the quarterback position with Matthew Stafford, the uh, the under the underachieving receiving core, uh, their the their their the highly inspiring signing of Allen out of Robinson ended up end up working out, and then now we are here where. It was a it was a bust season for the Los Angeles Rams, but let's just get into Jalen Ramsey. And I wanted I wanted to go ahead and start off by saying, because I've always been very very critical of Jalen Ramsey over the years, as far as where I would put him in 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 the, in the top corners in the league and of all time. And I've always and I've always started off by stating this: like when it comes down to you being one of the best corners in football, you got to get your hand on the ball. And what I mean by that interceptions like those interceptions takeaways those are are game changers that can that could change the game that could change the, the rest of the game by you being able to commit commit the quarterback to turning the football over and over the years Jalen Ramsey has been very very underwhelming in that particular category but I will say in the 2000 2022 season he ended up having four interceptions showed a big huge improvement uh, I will probably say he probably listened to Asante Samuel on the I am athlete podcast where he basically put him on the spot by saying that he can't be up there with the upper echelon of corners. If he can't get his hands on the football, like you gotta be, you gotta be aggressive. Like you, if you want to be feared in the league for a quarterback, to throw over there, throw your way, you gotta get your hand on the ball and all, some, all that in a nutshell. But when you look again, the, the Los Angeles Rams, they're looking to, they're looking to uh to to figure out how they're gonna make this cap this cap this this salary cap thing work, uh considering the fact they over the cap. Um and apparently they're they're looking to part ways with Jalen Ramsey. Now there have been some teams that have been swirling over the last couple of days. Uh I'm gonna go ahead and start it off with the Las Vegas Raiders. Um you look at their their current defensive back situation. Uh Rocky Asin's gonna be a free agent this year. Uh, Nate Hobbs was a uh, very, very disappointing dead body at best. Um, like that was just ridiculous. And, and, uh, Amik Robertson, eh, they definitely need an upgrade. The Las Vegas definitely need an upgrade considering the fact they were like bottom, one of the bottom teams as far as past defense last year. Then you have the Minnesota Vikings where I feel like this would be a perfect fit for Jam- Jalen Ramsey because when you look at the Minnesota Vikings, all they had to do was stop teams from scoring. And I, and I, and I strongly believe they would be one of the top teams in the NFC. Like it was very, very, it was very, very obvious with the Vikings last year, how they would, they would come down and win games. It would come down to like a, a last possession where, uh, where, um, What's, his, what's the quarterback's name? Like I think of Kirk Cousins. Thank you. Kirk Cousins had to, had to work some magic and they had to come to go down and, 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 and score. But last year, bottom half of the league as far as being able to pass defense, I feel like this would be perfect for the Minnesota Vikings to be able to bring in a Jalen Ramsey to help out with that. Patrick Peterson is going to be a free agent. Um, Cameron Deltzer, that would definitely, definitely need, they're going to need some help more than that. So bringing in Jalen Ramsey would definitely help out as well. Then we have the Minnesota, excuse me, the Detroit Lions. I like, I like Dan Campbell. I like Dan Campbell and his style of football that he's bringing to Detroit. Tough, gritty. Jalen Ramsey would fit perfectly with this, with this, with this Detroit Lions defense being up there, uh, being paired with Jeff Okuda. They got the cap space. 
They got plenty of cap space to be able to make this to make this thing happen. So why not with the Detroit Lions? He fits he fits perfectly as far as the type of guy that Dan Campbell is looking for uh, in his on his team. And then of course, you already know we always got to bring the Dolphins in the conversation. The Dolphins are always in the conversation. Now when you look at the Dolphins. Last year, unfortunately, Byron Jones couldn't hit the field. Xavier Howard, he was hurt most of the year, but was, was trying to be productive. But it, sometimes it was it was just unbearable at times. So definitely the Dolphins are going to need some defensive back help because I, I strongly believe they're going to end up cutting bait with Byron Jones or maybe even Xavier Howard. But uh, time will tell with that. But if you just go ahead and put him in that situation, uh, we don't. I, I, we're not exactly sure how Vic Vangio is going to want to play this thing, the new defensive coordinator. But you know, we always got to put the Dolphins in the conversation um, as far as how they're going to be able to improve their 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 secondary. And of course, they got to do some. They got to do some cap cap spacing moves too as well, because because they're, they're not sitting at, they're they're sitting at the bottom. So they definitely need to make some moves with as far as their cap space is concerned too.